Yo, what up, YouTube, man? It's your boy Crunch Time, man, and I'm back here with a video. It's been a while since I actually put out a video. Um, been busy with family, um, work, um, and everything, and uh, I decided to go ahead and uh, show you guys actually what I did to my car as of lately. Um, I haven't put out any videos in a while just due to work. I, I work so much, and family and work is my main priorities. Um, YouTube is just something I thought I can just get into and, you know, show people, you know, what you can do with your car and stuff like that. And what I can do with my car and stuff like that. And um, I'm, I'm very big into the car world. So I'm going to be putting out more videos, man. I'm going to dedicate more time to put out more videos to you guys and everything. But I actually do um, I have a few mods that I actually did um since putting out my last video i told you guys i was going to do some mods if you are a subscriber you should know what i'm talking about i did some mods to my car i actually have a special mod that i'm actually going to put on the car today it came in last week um and it's, it's actually looks pretty good man i want you guys to watch this full video and let me let me know what you guys think man and i know i shouldn't say this too early but also like comment and subscribe to the channel and if you see anything in the video that you like, reach out to me, man. I'm always replying back. I'm on YouTube all day long if I'm not actually working or I'm on my break or anything like that. I'm on YouTube all day long. So if you see anything that you like, you got a question about anything, reach out to me, man. I'll shoot a, a message to you guys. Also, look in the bottom down here, man, in the link in the description, man. I put every detail of where I get my mods on my vehicle in the link down below so look down below and if you find anything down there that you see that on my car go to the channel you know what i'm saying and 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 search it up or you know or just you know reach down there below and just grab the stuff that i put out for you guys man like i said my channel has a lot of different mods that i've done to it and you know i like the mods that i did to my car everybody's a different person like I say, like, comment, share, and subscribe, man. That's the only way I'm going to help this channel grow. Um, continue to put out multiple videos. But in other words, man, I want you guys to watch this full video. Yo. All right, you two, I'm back. So, uh, man, I did a lot of mods to the car, man. I did a lot of mods to the car. I haven't put out any videos because uh, I've been doing a lot of family things and stuff like that. And like I said, the Army take up most of my time and everything but i'll go ahead and get to it man show y'all guys what i did to the car man you guys are gonna like it. so the things i did to the car man told you guys i was gonna put the wheels on put the wheels on guys put the srt hc2 wheels these are originals these are not replicas i went ahead and did the conversion for the full brembo brake kit so these things are awesome man these, these jokers stop on a man on a dime um i replaced the black um, 345 Hemi with the reflective red 345 Hemi. Um, it looks pretty good at night. So when the light shines on, it actually reflects and everything. Um, the front is uh, 245, 45, 20 on the front, um, nine inch wheel. The back is a 275, 45, 20. No, 275, 40, 20, I'm sorry. So it's a wider tire in the back for much more grip. Um, Man, these things are badass, man. Also, what I did was, um, sorry, it's a little dirty in here, man. So what I did, <clears throat> I to pop the hood and everything. I also put LED turn signals for the back and the front. So that's the back right here, tinted them and everything. And then, like I say, the front, not on right now but the front is tinted too um what i did under the hood looks pretty good i hope you guys like it got a little surprise for you guys man so first thing i did i contacted uh these guys that i found on instagram and they make carbon fiber pieces so real carbon fiber here had this right here made um took about a week to ship out to me. Um, real carbon fiber has a bracket on the side here. Mount the bracket, put some double-sided tape, sticks down quite fine. Then these here, these right here are hydro dipped. 
sent these off to California uh, hydro dip concepts sent them off to him he hydro dipped them glossed it over and everything else sent them back out had a little issue with the shipping because uh, I forgot to put my unit for the condominium I live in and it got sent to my neighbor next door so other than that man they look good man you can't tell that it's not and if you look at the quality man quality is damn good damn good quality what i'm probably gonna do is i probably am gonna take them off and re-clear coat them just so they can be just a little bit more shinier or whatnot so you know so like i said the carbon fiber here matches this carbon fiber to match the real carbon fiber here on the 345 hemi so that's what i did under the hood uh now show you guys what i did to the back so the back of uh the car i went ahead and uh threw a wicker bill on did it a couple of days ago looks pretty good my wife don't like it but it's meant for me to like, not nobody else. Um, this one thing about this thing, man, this thing is a pain in the ass to do if you're doing it by yourself. So I found an easy way to do it. Easy way to do this: if you're doing a wicker bill by yourself. Get some duct tape. Put duct tape on the back of the wicker bill. Then place it where you want it so it stays. Then you take a punch, punch out the center of each hole. And then once you do that, you go ahead and start drilling. Make sure you got the right drill. These right here are uh, quarter 20. Go ahead and put those in. I had got another wicker bill, but I didn't like the way it looked. Um, and then also like the last mod that I did was I actually put this diffuser on. There's a guy on Instagram called Plexi Wings, P-L-E-X-I Wings on uh, Instagram. He actually makes these. So he actually made the other black wicker bill is just just one single piece here but i just went ahead and got a wicker bill and a diffuser the diffuser just drilled in i was kind of worried about hitting these sensors here but i didn't hit any of the sensors so that was a good thing um whatnot so as far as the wicker bill and the diffuser wicker bill i ordered off ebay it was 120 bucks shipped free shipping took about a week to get here it was 75 80 bucks i would say for the diffuser like i say everything looks good man wheels look good it makes the whole car just look look mean man man I tell you man this sets it off man definitely sets it off and it, it, it makes the whole car look look good offset how it looks with the water tire on the back and i can tell you one thing man if you have a rt you can definitely put a brembo brake kit on your car you just have to make sure you have the control arms for a 392 scat pack so the control arms and the brembo brakes for this car here came off a 2018 dodge charger and the wheels came off the dodge charger itself too so it can be done guys so if you're going to buy the brembo brakes make sure you get the arms to go with it i think they call them the a arms or whatnot um they can be put on um like i say it's just a matter of taking off your old ones having someone that know what they're doing put the brembo brakes on and uh, make sure that control arm because if you get the control arm with the brembo brakes um they will fit if you get just the brembo brakes and try to put them on an rt any type of rt no matter if it's a a charger or a challenger it's not gonna fit and you're gonna have a tough fucking time unless you get spacers and all that other stuff you don't want to do all that you want the car to look nice and clean man um other than that man i really have no complaints man the ride is still still good or whatnot oh also another mod that i did to the car uh I put these in max piter 3d uh, mats man these things right here got like a hooks and loops on the back and it hooks into the carpet man these things right here make a big difference man like i just go in there and just vacuum it up wipe it down with a rag and it'll look brand new um i got the ones in the rear i normally don't ride anybody in the back of my car um the reason why because it's a sports car sports cars to me are two-door cars 
Um, I'm not trying to knock anybody that has a charger or anything, but to me, that's a family car. Two-door cars are sports cars, and I don't ride people in the back of a sports car. So that's, you know what I'm saying? That's all the mods I did so far, man. Um, more mods that I'm trying to do, if I can, if I can, I want to do the carbon fiber stand wheel. Now, with that being said, that's a lot of money being spent. I like this way this car, you know, the car stand wheel looks here, looks nice and neat or whatever. But I know I can take it to the level with the carbon fiber stand wheel, but I, I don't see myself spending a thousand dollars on just a steering wheel. You know what I mean? Um, I try probably have to look into that, but hey, man, the way, you know, things are looking this year, man, <laughs> I may have to hold off on that for a while, but I feel like a, a good steering wheel to make this thing look good, man. Um, I can also say that, you know, if I put a carbon fiber on here, I, I, you know, might as well get the carbon fiber inserts and everything. I think the base carbon fiber steering wheel doesn't come with the base inserts here. Um, but if it doesn't, man, I, it, it is what it is. I just leave this black, but you know, if you're going to go, go all out. Right. Um, I seen people online. I kind of like it, but then again, no, I don't want to look at it and just, you know, damn, <laughs> keep looking at it. And then it doesn't show the real, the realness of carbon fiber, how some people put the fake or the replica carbon fiber stickers here or decals or whatever you want to call them here and stuff like that or whatever. Um, but you know, I can't complain, man. I cannot complain that one bit, but you know, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Please like comment, share, and subscribe this video. Um, I will be doing more videos, man. I said that last time, but when I say that the army takes a lot of my time, they take a lot of my time, man. So I will be doing more videos. I will be putting out more content. Um, like I say, I'm, I'm in the army, I'm in school. Um, you know, I'm, I'm doing a lot right now. So you know, YouTube was like on the back burner, but I am going to make sure you guys get more content in this car. I don't want to over, you know, accessorize this car where well, this car just looks like something totally different or whatever. I like it, you know, my stuff plain and simple. Um, yeah, man. So I want you guys to like, comment, share, and subscribe on this video. Um, give me a thumbs up, man, if you like what I did to the car. Like I said, it's a 2016 Dodge Challenger RT. Um, also, I am going to do a, um, uh, a delete on the rear. Um, I forgot what they call them. The, the suitcases on the back, I'm going to cut those off. I'm thinking about putting my Super 10s under there for a much deeper growl because I did a mint muffler delete. So I'm just going to straight pipe it in the back and put the Super 10s in the middle um, to get a much uh, deeper growl with it or whatever. But I want to thank you guys for uh, checking out my channel checking out this uh video and uh like i say please like comment share and subscribe i'm gonna start putting out more content for you guys man but i thank you guys so much